The Fab Four partnership between the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex has long sailed, claims a royal biographer. The Duchess of Cambridge celebrated the World of Mental Health Service Shout, which was set up with Prince William, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in 2019, shortly before Harry and Meghan announced they were stepping back as senior royals. Royal biographer Robert Jobson said the visit highlighted the irreparable relationship between the four. Mr. Jobson said, when Kate turned up at Shout's Notting Hill office on Wednesday to mark their millionth text, she was relaxed and very well informed. He continued, if could have been a fab four day out if things had been different, but that ship has long sailed. Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, Prince William and Kate Middleton were previously known as the fab four, but in the wake of Meg a new foursome has seemingly emerged. Speaking to Express, royal author Clive Irving suggested that with the Sussexes out of the picture the firm will now be looking for a replacement for some post-haste. Among the remaining working royals, which are very few, are Countess Sophie and Prince Edward, both of whom have seemingly stepped up in recent months. But as Clive suggested, teaming the Wessexes with current heir apparent Prince Charles and his sister Princess Anne could be just what the monarchy needs right now. I think I can see a compatibility between Sophie and Edward and Charles and Anne. Clive told the British publication, before suggesting Anne and Sophie's bond would be strong. Likening Prince Edward to his elder sister Anne, the royal author then went on to suggest that he would be well suited to taking on more responsibility in the wake of the Sussexes' absence. Edward, has become a very dutiful member of the royal family, very agreeable person, he is very good at keeping quiet, Clive said, referring to Edward trading his TV career for royal duty. When you talk about Princess Anne and her future role I think there is a closer connection to Edward, than her other brothers, because he is a safe pair of hand as she is," he added. While there is no official word on a new Fab Four, the Earl and Countess of Wessex are just two of the seven remaining working royals who could be sought after. Clive's comments came after it was reported the Wessexes had helped fill the gap left by the Sussexes, when they joined Wills and Kate at an event to mark the finale of their train tour. In December, the Cambridges reunited with senior members of the royal family at Windsor Castle after completing their tour of England, Scotland, and Wales. With the Countess and Prince Edward both aged 56, they are the second youngest working royal couple after Wills and Kate so it only seems fitting they should replace the Sussexes. Last October, the Duke of Cambridge established the prize alongside Sir David Attenborough, with the aim of creating positivity within the climate change debate. For the next decade, Five winners will be awarded £1 million each to invest in their innovative environmental solutions. On October 17, the 39-year-old prince stepped out on the green carpet with Kate and welcomed celebrities and activists to Alexandra Palace for the televised awards ceremony. Winners of this year's inaugural prize included a coral reef farm from the Bahamas, a citywide initiative from Milan and the Republic of Costa Rica for their conservation efforts.